Welcome back to Halftime Report. Well, defence stocks perked up after the Defence Acquisition Council cleared a procurement of 76,000 crores for modernisation of India's armed forces. We are now joined by P.R. Hari, the Chairman and Managing Director at Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. He's also the retired Commodore of uh, Indian Navy, so he'll be uh, in a better position to tell us how this defence push will actually help some of these companies. Mr. Hari, thanks a lot for joining us. This is a large... Uh, you know, uh, order that the government is giving out or a procurement that the government is looking at. Uh, can you tell us what kind of timelines do you uh, see here? I mean, realistically, when do these orders come on board? And for a company like Garden Reach Shipbuilders, what does this mean? Uh, good afternoon, uh, Sonia. Uh, before I answer your question, uh, let me inform you and the viewers that uh, financial year 22 has been the best ever for the shipyard in terms of uh, financial performance. With us uh, getting a revenue of, from operations uh, of uh, 1,758 crores, that is up by 54%, and in turn, the overall total income up by 45%, the PAT up by 24%. So in a nutshell, FY22 has been a, a good year for us. A very encouraging year despite the challenges of COVID. Now coming to our uh, order book and what we can expect from the the AON, that is the approval of necessity accorded by the Defense Acquisition Co Council just a couple of days back. Our present order book is plus 24,000 crores, that is 24,072 crores. And these mostly comprise of uh, shipbuilding orders, that is 95% of our order book is comprising of shipbuilding orders. And uh, this in turn comprises of uh, six projects that we are executing concurrently. A three for the Indian Navy, one for the Indian Coast Guard, one, two export orders, one for the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, and one for the Government of Bangladesh. Plus we also have orders in the uh, Bailey Bridges, uh, the deck machinery, and the diesel engine segment. Uh, the current order book is expected to be completed by FY27. In addition, we also have been declared L2 in a tender, that is RFP of Indian Navy for construction of uh, next generation offshore petrol vessels. As per the tender conditions, we will be executing uh, construction of uh, four ships and uh, I expect this contract to be concluded uh, during the current uh, financial year. Now, of this 76,390 crores uh, for which AON has been accorded by the government, that's the DSC, 36,000 is for a project for the Indian Navy, that is the next generation COVID. As far as GRC is concerned, as far as COVID is con COVID are concerned, it's a niche product of GRC. Having built nine COVID, both missile and anti-submarine warfare COVID for the Indian Navy, and all of them are in active service with the Navy. So with our uh, experience and resident expertise and the associated infrastructure and facilities, we are very confident that uh, our bidding strategy would be appropriate to win the order. As far as the project execution, uh, I expect this order, the RFP to be out uh, during this year and uh, the, the order uh, will be sometime during FY24. That is my appreciation. All right, that's, that's uh, uh, insightful, uh, Mr. Hari, for joining in and giving us, uh, you know, uh, the kind of uh, outlook that you are. Uh, two things uh, I'd, I'd like to ask you. Of the 36,000 crore, uh, you know, order potential for uh, the Corvettes, uh, how much of it can be serviced by a company like yours? That's point number one. And secondly, you said that 24,000 crore worth orders, uh, as per you, would be uh, executed by FY27. I just do a simple mathematics. And it looks like over the next five years, you can actually recognize revenues worth almost 4,800 to 5,000 crores per year. That's a massive jump from what you've done in FY22 itself, which is close to around 1750 or crores. Is that understanding correct? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mangalam. And you're absolutely right. And as I mentioned, uh, FY22 has been the best year with uh, 24%, uh, not 24, 54% increase in our uh, revenue from operations. As you rightly brought out, uh, with our order book uh, uh, planned to be executed by 27, 
the average uh, turnover uh, during the next five years works out to 4,800. You are absolutely right, and we are fully geared up for uh, uh, meeting the expectations of our customers and uh, our own aspirational expectations. Now, coming to the first point of uh, the 36,000 order for the next generation Corvettes. As I mentioned, uh, in India, as far as Indian shipyards are con concerned, GRC is the most experienced with respect to construction of Corvettes. We are fully geared up for constructing this Corvettes within the timelines expected by the Indian Navy. Okay, that's great to hear. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, kind of operational pressures that you're facing because of the material costs. They've doubled in, quart in the quarter gone by. And your margins have come down quite a bit as well, sub 6% margins. So despite the higher revenues and more orders, you're still sitting on single digit margins. Uh, do you think you would get to double digit anytime soon? Uh, coming to the material cost, yes, it is true that the material cost is all, uh, almost doubled. It was 447 crores uh, during uh, FY21 as against 935 crores during FY22. But this is actually an indication of uh, the right kind of progress that we are achieving in the ship construction. As the material cost increases, our uh, value of production increases. So uh, this is basically based on the project maturity. So as the projects reach a phase wherein equipment and systems are uh, lowered on board and integrated, the material cost increases. And uh, to, to give you an overview of the uh, shipbuilding costing, if 100% uh, is the cost of a ship, almost 65% of the cost is from equipment and sensors. Around 20% uh, total comes from the labor and subcontracting cost, and around 15% is for steel and the associated yard material. Now, this chunk of uh, the cost, that is the equipment, normally gets lowered onto the ship when the ship reaches a production maturity of around 35 to 40%. So, all our projects, be it the P-17 Alpha, uh, be it the survey vessel project, be it the ACB shallow water craft, we have reached that kind of project production maturity. So that is the reason why the material cost has gone up. All right. And is there a pass-through for uh, these material costs? Do we see improvement in the margins? I mean, you've given us a long-term target. Can you tell us what you're expecting in FY23 in terms of, uh, uh, you know, revenue, margins, as well as order inflow? Okay. As far as the... Uh, you know, coming to the margin. Now, if you see our performance during the last uh, five years, in 17-18, uh, our uh, profit margin was 6.04%. Today, it is 9.99%. I would take it as 10. 10%. Now, in a manufacturing industry, especially shipbuilding, the profit margins over around 7.5 to 8%. Whereas, the actual margins that we have achieved this year is 10%. And this is mostly due to internal efficiency and process improvement. Now, coming to the revenue recognition, uh, what we are expecting during the current year, what I can assure you is that uh, we, FY23, 24, and 25, would be the peak years in terms of revenue recognition for our company, considering the existing uh, project uh, production maturity and the plans we have in for execution of these projects. And as far as margins are concerned, I'm very confident that we'll be able to maintain these margins in the coming years too. That we'll be able to maintain the margins. Uh, all the best and uh, congratulations on these orders. Uh, the large order book that they have is expected to be completed by FY27. And they could be big beneficiaries of this de defense push. That's Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Let's do one thing. Let us uh, take a break from this discussion.